attention to the roster updates. We also lost some supplies coming in. This is me saying make every damn shot count. Once we get eyes on other parts of the station, some of you will be sent to scout for supplies. Stay smart and alert, and we'll have Omega back in no time. Hand out all the weapons. No use holding back gear. Supplies are going to be tight. If we hadn't lost that shipment, you mean if we hadn't lost that ship? What is it? I've been tasked with increasing this command center's control of Omega's operating systems. I've hacked surveillance on many decks, tapped various internal communication conduits, but I can only reach so far. There are terminals in Cerberus-controlled areas, and, well, you could get your hands on them. When you find these terminals, a simple input code will give me access privileges and more influence on station systems. Easy enough? Good. I'll keep an eye on my board, and I'll let you know when my codes are activated. Thanks. Rerouting systems. Rack. Rack, you there? I swear, if you don't answer soon... Finally. Where are you? What's the trouble here? Power inverters are shorting, trying to find a workaround, but no go. They can probably be scrounged up somewhere on Omega. If you come across a set of carry inverters, bring them back here. I'll see what I can do. Aria wants to talk to you. I'm giving up. New inverters are the only answer. 
Keep an eye out for panels. I'll cross-reference with my station schematic. As how are we looking? All systems operational. Full Omega schematics coming online now. Let's take a look. I see. Shepard, those force fields we saw. The General has them set up everywhere. He's controlling access across the station. What are these dark areas? Many sections of Omega are powered down. I'm betting power is being siphoned to run those force fields. Find the source, priority one. And we'll need a full tactical assessment of all Cerberus positions. I'll get on it. Shepard, we have work to do. Our losses were significant. We can't field an army large enough to face down Cerberus. Then we need to find allies. Story of my life. We've confirmed there is a Merc gang that's still active. The Talons are resisting the occupation. Not my first choice, but they're all we've got. Then it's time to play diplomat. And if the current leader won't join us, the next one will. Sorry to interrupt. What is it? I turned away for a second to offload supplies when I looked back. You lost her. Well, I... We're locked down. She's gotta be here somewhere. This bunker has secret access points to other parts of the station. Unfortunately, Nyreen knows them. Damn it, Bray. If I wasn't already short on manpower. We have to focus on getting the Talons on board. Shepard, I'll meet you at the armory exit when you're ready to go. But don't keep me waiting. Yes, what is it? Got a minute? We need to get going. But what's on your mind? Once we recruit the Talons, how do we reach the General? I'm working on it. His command center set up an afterlife. No doubt a deliberate move to piss me off. Don't let it get to you. He wants you off balance. Anger helps me focus. Those strange force fields are blocking access to much of the station, including afterlife. So after we complete our current objective, I'll be looking for a way to get around them. Enough talk. Is there anything else, or can we move on? Tell me about this Merc gang we're looking to enlist. They're drug runners and cutthroats, but they're highly organized. That sets them apart. They appear more civilized than, say, the Blood Pack, but at their heart, they're just as dishonorable. We'll have to appeal to their lust and greed to get and keep them in line. Anything else you need to know? It seems like there's more to Nyreen than meets the eye. You mean her disappearing act? Honestly, I'm not concerned. If it was anyone else, I'd want blood, but Nyreen's a variable I can control. She believes in a code of ethics. She oozes virtue. You two must have made an interesting pair. Opposites attract, right? Our connection was powerful but doomed. Nyreen demonstrated zero flexibility she couldn't put up with the challenges of my life. That's all you're getting out of me on this subject, Shepard. Anything else? Tell me more about Petrovsky. He presumes to sit on my throne, that's all that matters. I get that you hate him, Arya, but I need to know who we're up against. All right, I'll admit he's not like other Cerberus operatives I've encountered. He's smart, thinks outside the box, very hard to predict. He's like his boss, no matter who suffers and no matter the cost, he stops at nothing. To defeat him, we have to be prepared to do the same. Is the cross-examination over because time is of the essence? You're off the hook for now. Good. I'll meet you at the exit by the armory. I'm giving up. New inverters are the only answer. Good luck out there. What's your history with this gang? Some mutually beneficial dealings and some occasional violence. The Talons weren't even a blip on our radar until the plague in 2185. Your little war against the other gangs left a vacuum. Not my intention. 
Their leader, Darius, took advantage of the situation and carved the Talons a bigger piece of the local drug trade. Are we enlisting them because they're good, or because we need numbers? They're cannon fodder. We're using them because they're the only game in town. All soldiers know they're expendable. Exactly. The Talons are mine already. They just don't know it yet. Just let me do the talking and... Commander, Cerberus forces are scrambling. Looks like an attack on the Talons. Judging from comm chatter, the priority target is in the area. Could be the Talon leader. Looks like we fight our way through Cerberus to get to them. Let's move. Why would they leave crates of red sand lying around like this? Maybe they had something more important going on. Not Darius. Profit is the only thing that matters to him. Anything else can burn. One of these air shafts should lead us to Talon territory. Thank you, Commander. Power's offline. There should be a control switch for the generator nearby. Looks like they were using this to observe the detainment centers. Talon outpost we're heading for. Looks like the Talons are given as good as they get. Commander, Cerberus communications indicate that the high priority target is nearby. Their forces will be directly on your path to the Talon outpost. Understood. Position. 
maintenance of the station systems has just extended by 77%, Commander. Thank you. think so.
Take care of the wounded, and scavenge what you can. I want us out of here ASAP. You heard the boss. Move it. Looks like we found the Talon leader. My, my. Nyreen, aren't you full of surprises? Arya, the deception was necessary. I needed to figure out what your plans were. The people on Omega depend on us. I couldn't risk compromising our operation. Not exactly standard procedures for a street gang. When Cerberus invaded, the Talons were a mess. I brought... new direction. The General's been hunting us ever since. Right now, he's attacking one of our outposts. That's where I need to be. We're done here, boss. Right. Arya, Commander Shepard, whatever you're here for, the answer's no. Kindly escort yourselves off Talon territory. We're here to help. We'll talk about it after we reach your outpost. It's a generous offer. Arya, does the Commander also speak for you? Not the way I would have put it, but that's the idea. All right then. Come with me. You've improved your biotics since last I saw you. You noticed the biotic grenades? You always did like blowing things up, given half a chance. Rampart mechs incoming! This way.
I hope you're not afraid of heights. Reports coming in. Protect Showtown and forces on the catwalks. Lockdown system's been compromised so many times it hardly knows up from down anymore. And Irene to base. Need an engineer at the catwalk center. Door's jammed again. This may take a moment. Those doors open yet. They're working on it. They packed the bridge control. Need to get to my people. We'll be evacuating this location as soon as possible. Try not to interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. Also, routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. Adjutants? Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Some kind of Reaper-based weapon. I fought them before they're a nightmare. It got worse after you left. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs, then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Keeping your people alive through that couldn't have been easy. I watched friends get turned into monsters and I had to kill them. Now if you'll excuse me, 
I have an outpost to defend. The adjutants really got under her skin. Hey, Commander. I just wanted to say thank you. Just reported into the Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene, but I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. The truth is, none of us can do this alone. Our only chance is to join forces. You might be right. But the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? Nyrene, watch and learn. As. Everything's in place. The entire station's connected. People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. You cannot be beaten, and you will never be controlled. Be ready! Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back! That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega, my people, love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Got it. 